Hi there, there is a very interesting AI feature in Document Browser that will save your time and the name of this tool is the shortcut feature. So in this video, I'll show you a quick demonstration on how this thing actually works and then later I'll show you a simple way to create a custom shortcut on the browser so you can save your time. Now here, there are many pages open on my comment browser and they're talking about the Google Pixel 10 phone. Some articles are praising the phone while others don't. So I want to do a quick sentiment analysis about these pages, but I don't want to write a very long and complicated prompting just to get these pages or these tabs into a label. Instead, I'm going to be using a shortcut that contains the prompt so I can reuse that prompt over and over again quickly. So here's how I'm going to use it. I'm going to open a new tab. And here I'm going to type backslash, the back, backslash character on the keyboard, and then type the name of the shortcut, which in this case, sentiment. Okay, just select that, or you can press enter on the keyboard and send the message. So that shortcut actually contains this instruction. So instead of writing this down, I can just use a simple shortcut, which is a lot faster to type. And that's really the key point of shortcut, but there are actually other things that you can customize. Like you can easily select the model, you can select the mode, you can select some other things in the setting that will make your work a lot faster and more efficient. Now, what's happening right now is the AI is utilizing the agentic feature in the browser to analyze all the tabs in the browser. So. As you can see, there are two labels being created. There is positive sentiment. There is also the negative sentiment. I do aware that there are some other pages that are not being labeled, but I believe that's because these articles are mostly neutral. That's why they don't fall into either categories. But that's not the point. I think the point here is it is able to use a shortcut to quickly do something without writing a very long prompt every single time. So let me show you how you can create your own shortcut in the comment browser here. I'm going to open a new tab and there are two ways you can create a shortcut. You can click here and then type the backslash character and then you can click create a shortcut or you can also navigate to your account, go to the shortcuts menu and here is the all the shortcuts that are available on your account and this is a good way to organize all the shortcuts that you have on your perplexity or comic browser. Now I'm going to create a new one, click here and let's call this one Okay, I want to create a shortcut where AI is going to provide me content or YouTube video ideas based on the content that I'm seeing at the moment. So let's call this one YouTube ideas. And by the way, for the name or shortcut, do not use space. You can use dash or underscore, but do not use space. It is just not available. And here is where you can write instruction. This is the prompt that I'm going to use. Please analyze this content and provide me 10 YouTube ideas that I could create based on this article. Okay, there you go. Let me just click advance and you can select the mode. It could be the regular search. It could be the deep research and also the perplexity labs feature. And also for the source, you can select whether the AI should be reading content from the web, academic, social finance, etc. And also you can connect other tools. But in this case, I'll just keep things simple. So I'll just use the regular search. And for the model is cloud 4.5 sonnet. And the web access is just the regular web. Now after that, click save. And I actually recommend to just wait about two to three minutes because from experience, the shortcut that you just created might not appear immediately. So it might take what some time, maybe two to three or perhaps five minutes until you can see this, this option when you are typing the backslash character or the shortcut feature in the browser. So I'll be back after about two to three minutes. Okay, it's been more than two minutes and I'm going to start using the shortcut. So here there is an article from Google that's talking about it, the 10 features in the Google Pixel 10 phone. And I'll just open the comment assistant feature and let me just type backslash YouTube ideas. There you go, we have the option and send the message. So it should analyze this content and there you go. So I don't have to write the, uh, the prompt anymore. It just provides to me all the possible ideas that I could use for 
a YouTube video. So that's just one example. You could utilize the agenda feature or not. It is up to you, but definitely this feature will save your time in the long run. So that's how you can use the shortcut feature in the comment browser. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.